What's up everyone and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Predator Racing had a slightly dodgy race last time out. Will Hume kept up his impeccable record of damaging our cars in almost every race. Usually it's the rear wing, however last time it was the front wing, which meant we ended up finishing I think like 12th and 14th in the race. This is why he's dropped down to 5th place in the standings and we've dropped down to 3rd in the constructors. Four days time, we have got the Munich Grand Prix and as you'll be able to see, we are struggling for money. We decided to design a new bit of suspension in the last race and it is currently work in progress. It's a lot higher than our old suspension, can go all the way up to 241 overall. So that is a good start at least. And yeah, every other component as we know is still not exactly good. But we're seventh best on suspension, so it's an improvement at least, and hopefully we can do relatively well in this next race. So we are finally on the day of the German Grand Prix, and it's time to look through our sponsorship objectives. Once again, I think I'm actually going to go for this fifth place or above. I believe it is actually very achievable as long as we get a decent starting position. The grids are a little bit different now because there was an update to the game, as most of you will probably know if you play yourself. And it's no longer reverse championship grid. So that does help us out. Well, it should do the majority of the time unless we're starting stone dead last this time. It's round 6 of 10 for this Munich Grand Prix. And in terms of the weather, it's looking dry. I think there's no rain on the horizon. So I think we are pretty good to take it ourselves. Not going to make any of you guys watch because we really don't need to. I'm literally going to go for a massive emphasis on these soft tyres. I know Will Hume usually has uh, light footed for these soft tyres. So that should ideally come into play for us this time round. And yeah, we'll just wait and see. I'll start and we'll be back in just a minute. We've just finished up on practicing and we managed to get full, I think, bonuses or at least knowledge on soft tyres and race trim. So that's looking good. We finished 10th and 14th, which wasn't too bad either on the soft tyres. Jumping into race day, as you can see, we need to finish 5th or above. And if I'm right, yes, light footed on soft tyres and we'll chuck that on for Will Hume. He looks in a pretty good position. Not sure where he's starting as of yet, but we'll find out in just a second. I believe our setup was a lot better, and from this we have a much better idea as well. Hume's downforce definitely needs to lower off a lot. Uh, the handling, the ideal position was around there. I'm going to say top speed there as well. He can start on softs with a max 10 lap, so we're going to be doing just over two stops. And yeah, we should be able to go really far on these soft tyres with him and push them quite a lot. So we do look in a good position for this race. Definitely, so that's that. Set up with Renault. Oh, 17th and 20th. That is not a good start for us at all, though, is it? So I think we've just been very unlucky there. And yeah, we're really going to have to fight through. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a struggle to get that top five from where we are once again. But, you know, when everything doesn't go in your favour, it really doesn't. Anyway, we are starting in poor positions, but I still believe we can come out of this with a decent result as long as Will Hume. Doesn't crash his car one more time. So we're coming around to the end of this first lap. We are struggling a lot. We are in 19th and 20th. So we are stone dead last with both cars on the grid. The grid is relatively bunched up still. But we're already nearly halfway to a pit stop behind first place. Okay, so straight away, we've actually got a safety car incident. And seeing as we are at the back, I know we've only used like not much fuel at all, but I think I might actually just fuel both my drivers back up again and put them on completely fresh tyres. Like we may as well, I don't think we can stretch out the fuel that much further, but why not? Because we're only going to join back up with the back of the grid, so it seems a bit silly, but we may as well max out on everything whilst we can. Right, so both our drivers are coming into the pits. They should be very quick. It doesn't even matter if we make mistakes, really, because we're going to catch up. And, yeah, so they weren't exactly fantastic, but it doesn't matter. We're still out in the same position, and we're completely and fully refreshed for this restart. We've just got onto the back of the queue, fully refreshed with all of our tyres and fuel. Keeping the tyres warm is going to be a little bit of a struggle at the moment, but we've got one more lap before that safety car comes in. I'm hoping we can take a bit of an advantage from this but we'll just have to wait and see. 
We're coming around to this restart now, I'm just going to start putting up the engine mode and telling our drivers to push as well. Safety car is peeling away so we can get back on it straight away. After the restart, we're still sitting down in 18th and 19th. There's quite a big cluster of cars in front of us. We're kind of struggling to find our way through them at the moment. I'm hoping, though, we'll be able to make a nice bit of progress when everyone starts to pit for the first time. We can really push and make up quite a few positions. Just under a third of the way through the race, we're in 17th. We're we'll setting some really good laps now. Our tyres are a lot fresher than everyone else's, so that is good to see. Uh, also, Gaston Renault making... I would say good progress, but he's still sitting around at the back at the moment. We're just kind of waiting on everyone to start pitting, to be honest. We're in a massive cluster of drivers at the moment. Everyone looks like they're starting to consider pitting at least, or they are coming in in the next coming laps. Quite a few people have just dived in the pits, so we're up to 14th and 16th. We've still got a lot of life left in these tyres, so it's still looking relatively good for us. Literally, all of a sudden, everyone has dived into the pits. They've all seemed to put on medium tyres as well, which is interesting considering they can only get a max 10 laps of fuel. But as a result, we are somehow sitting all the way up in third and fourth place. Uh, if we can get a good run here, we could be able to last for quite a while. But I think Renault's going to have to pit in probably this or the next lap, and then Hume most likely the lap after that. So going to start bringing Renault in just after he's got past the pit lane. Now we bring him in. And yeah, we can only go 10 laps of fuel, I believe, if I'm right. So we'll just go all the way up to the max there. Yep, pretty much 10 laps. So we will have to come in one more time. So we fuel him up to that. We'll put him on a new set of softs, which he can pretty much push on the whole entire time. And yeah, we'll be raring to go. Will Hume may as well put his engine on to overtake as well. We only need to get one more lap after this, so we'll tell him to go into attack mode as well, and he'll be coming in the lap after this. Whilst also at the same time, Gaston Renault has just jumped into the pits. Fuel link looked good, same with the tyres, so that's very nice for us, and now we can do Will Hume's pit stop. We've got 12 laps left, so we're just going to fill his car up completely now, and it will literally be a splash and dash at the end of the race. Just remember to change his tyres, and we have, so let's get him in as well, and we'll be able to get him to push. Hume set him some really good lap times this time round. He's just come into the pits now. I'd love a really good pit stop. It should help us out a lot, and by the looks of it, our game nearly froze for a second there. But it was a good pit stop. We're still going to come out pretty low. And yeah, we're out of 13th, but it still is a little bit of progress. We can push for this next lot of laps and have a high fuel mode on as well. And we should be able to make up a couple more positions. The real advantage that we seem to have over everyone else at the moment is the fact that we're still currently sitting on these soft tyres, whereas everyone else is for some reason on the mediums. I'm not sure why, because they can only go a certain amount of laps because of their fuel. So that amount of laps can account for these soft tyres too. But I'm not going to complain, we're making some good progress at the moment. And we should be able to get up into 12th as we have there, and all up into 11th in one corner. The only concern that we've just got is that Will Hume's suspension is playing up a bit. We might have to make that a quick fix at our next pit stop. But I don't think it should take too long, so we should be okay. Just decided to get both of our drives to start pushing really hard. We've only got five laps left, so I'm going to bring them both in in just a moment. We're refueling them up, and I don't think Renault needs any new components. He's going to drop down. He's actually going to come out in 10th, so that's quite nice at the moment. And then with Will Hume, I reckon we could probably do one more lap after this. I think his suspension is going to hold out, so we can bring him in after and then fix that as well. As I said, Renault's pit stop has come up. He's now in there, made a slight mistake on the fuel. And we actually lost four seconds. That's not great. But still, I think we're going to come out in 11th, which isn't too bad. It's now Will Hume's time to come into the pits. And I'm hoping this will be a little bit better. By the looks of it, it has been. Everything has gone well. So I think we're going to come out in 7th, which is actually not too bad at all. 
I can actually see the cars just in front on the track. Sixth and fifth, that's kind of where we need to be to get our sponsorship achievement. I didn't think it was actually going to be possible today, but our tyres are extremely fresh. We definitely have a decent amount of fuel as well. So I think we can actually really push for this and hopefully get this position. We're attempting to overtake Moddy Fox for 6th place, but it's looking not exactly great, and I think 5th place is really starting to run away with it now, so they might just be too far down the road, which is really annoying, actually, to be honest. Um, at least we'll get a decent amount of points from this race. No, it's not going to be great in the constructors, though, because Garuda are 1st and 2nd. We very nearly got up into 6th place there. Fifth place is definitely too far away now. They are miles off up the road. We're close for fuel as well, so I'll just go back onto that. By the looks of it, this other team with Molly Fox, they're just that little bit too fast for us. Don't know if we can get anything on this last corner. Don't think we can. So there we go. We've actually finished seventh with Will Hume, twelfth with Gaston Renault. It's actually quite a decent turnaround considering where we actually started in the race. I think it was like seventeenth and twentieth, or sixteenth and twentieth. So definitely a good start. And yeah, we can be happy. It's a decent amount of points. We're not going to get any more money though, so we're still going to lose some money, which is the main issue at this current moment in time. So, scrutineering, I'm hoping a couple of people get penalised so we can get moved up, mainly for the money situation, but no, that hasn't happened either. Nobody seems to be getting penalised at all this year from GMA kind of rule breaks and stuff like that. As you can see from the championship, there's kind of a four, well, in fact, there's about six drivers that are extremely close from second down to seventh. It looks like Rafael Rodriguez is more or less going to win this title altogether. In terms of the constructors, we are still in third, very close to fourth and second at the same time. However, Garuda have really pulled out this year up to 162 points now. We're 22 points behind. That is quite a lot to turn around. So we might be spending another season in the European Racing League. After that race, we just about missed out on our sponsorship achievement, meaning we're down another 351,000. Nearly three and a half million in debt once again, which isn't fantastic but it seems to be a bit of a common theme throughout this season so far but we've just got to move on and get on with it so our car repair has just finished and we've actually got 24 days until the next grand prix it's very big as well if we did have a big lump sum of money we'd definitely be able to improve our car a lot but it doesn't look like we'll be able to so instead we're just going to keep on working on this suspension it's going to be done 10 days before the race which is good to see i don't know if there's anything else we can upgrade at the same time we have our other suspension unit, which we could also do. So if I put that on six days before the race, and at least our suspension will be very good. Now it's time for possibly one of the most important votes of the whole entire year. It's time for stock suspension. I would usually say, you know, we'll make it stock and then that'll be that. But the thing is, it's actually quite a good component for us. Like, it's our only good component. So I think I'm actually going to vote against, and I might use two votes as well because it's it's really quite important like this is the one component where we could actually get an advantage over other people on the grid so i'm going to vote against it twice and i'm hoping if we skip to the end here we'll be able to win by the looks of it we have only just because we used our extra vote so that is quite lucky actually just received an email from chip elena turtling us our factory staff at idle which must mean our components are finally upgraded and they have, it's looking very nice there, 241 for that suspension, which is very impressive considering we started off this career at like, what, one or two. I would like to develop the engine a bit more, same with the gearbox, just we don't have that financial backing at this current moment in time. So instead, we're just going to work on the reliability of those components as well. Talking of money, we can go for our sponsor offers, but we have only got three so far, and... To be fair, they're not exactly great, so 
Like, for some reason, we're four stars, marketability, sponsor appeal level, but for our main sponsor, we never get big ones. I think you can possibly get four sponsorship offers at the same time, so I think I will leave that till the next episode and hope that we do. Otherwise, I might go for one of these. We don't actually have a Japanese Grand Prix either, so there might not be any point in picking that one, but we're going to leave that there for the moment and we'll see later on. Going back to our car, we can have a look how our suspension lines up. And that little upgrade still keeps us only 7th best on the grid. But still, I think, well, average is that. So somehow we are above average, even though we're 7th on the grid. So I'll take it. It must just be our actual highest component overall. But anyway, our next race up is in Guildford, the United Kingdom. So that'll be next. Medium speed corners is crucial, which is quite good to see. So our new suspension should do us well next time round. And yeah, we're currently fifth in the driver standings, third in the constructor standings, and it's it's looking pretty good. We're I'm optimistic at least. So if you did enjoy today's video, remember to drop a like on it. Remember to drop a comment down below if you want to tell me anything. You know, talk to me. I will get back to you, communicate everything like that. And remember to subscribe if you're new. It's free, of course. You can go and do it. It's not going to cost you a thing. So click it if you want to. But yeah. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next video.